Now, the first noble truth is truth of suffering. And truth of suffering, Lord Buddha says, one should know. Dungar Shebrachawa. So truth of suffering one should know. Now, uh, the uh, first noble truth Lord Buddha teaches us that long as we are recognizing ourselves as I, then because of that basic misunderstanding and misperception of ourself, the cause and conditions of suffering began. Long as I am I, then there is others. And I, for me, is only one. Other, for me, is countless. So I wanted to be happy, follows. And I don't like to suffer. That is continuation of I wanted to be happy. And I am not able to get my happiness easy enough. But grass is greener always on the neighbor's lawn. <laughs> so other people seem to be happier than me. So that is jealous. But sometimes we look around and search around and we find somebody not doing well as ourselves. And we do look at them and we look down at them. That is called pride. And once we think we got something we want, then we will hold on to it with all our clothes and all our teeth. <laughs> and we ripe around it with our tail. <laughs> like monkeys <laughs> holding on to a fruit with teeth, with hand, with leg, and with tail. <laughs> so that's called stinginess. <laughs> so, so these things, one thing follow another. And when we are pursuing these things that we want, and we are working hard to avoid these things which we don't want, then we find others get on our way. You know? So when monkey is holding on to the precious mango with teeth, hand, feet, and tail, then other monkeys come nearby, gets very annoyed. You know? Mouth is busy, hand is busy, feet is busy, tail is busy, but eye is looking at it. And ear is moving up and down. And busy biting the mango, 
managed to make some sound <laughs> in between there. <laughs> Maybe through the nose. <laughs> so anyway, that is called anger. <laughs> so, so, ignorance, attachment, jealousy, anger, stinginess, these are the six poisons. Ignorance, attachment, anger, <coughs> pride, stinginess, jealous. These are the six poisons. So long as we call ourselves I, all of these things are inevitable unavoidable. You cannot drop a stone into the pond without creating a ripple. Impossible. You try. If you manage, very good, you're Buddha. <laughs> so if you wanted to test that you are enlightened or not, <laughs> You know, these days lots of people come to me and ask me, am I enlightened? I think I am. So I give you very simple, very simple test. Take one kilo stone. Go to a pool and throw it. If it doesn't create ripple, you are enlightened. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> now, the sufferings are uh, several uh, uh, kinds. Uh, uh, one kind of suffering is uh, uh, the actual pain, like uh, uh, sick, being sick. Uh, being deprived um, uh, uh, physically, mentally, uh, etc. Uh, that is uh, one aspect of suffering. Another kind of suffering is actually the happiness itself. Because uh, happier we get uh, more worried we get for losing it. And uh, more busy we become to sustain it. And more knowledgeable we become about other kind of happiness. When the poor monkey, <laughs> deprived one, gets the first not so good, but a mango. <laughs> then he wonder, is there mango better than this one? <laughs> and grass is greener, so his fellow monkey got a bigger and more colorful and more tasty mango. So he definitely want the same. And this way, happiness itself becomes the cause and condition of suffering. It's impermanent. You can be glorious today, but tomorrow you will not be that glorious. Day after tomorrow, you might end up in the square one. <coughs> And next day, even worse than that. So this way, everything is impermanent. Of course, one should be optimistic, not pessimistic. Is it optimistic or optimistic? <laughs> I think it is pessimistic and opti mistake. 
I think so. <coughs> Either one is a mistake. <laughs> one should be honest and to the point rather than opti mistake or pessi mistake. Okay. So anyway, anyway, everything that is even the greatest form of happiness in samsara will end. That's for sure. Nothing will last forever. You can carve it on rock, you can carve it on gold, you can carve it on diamond as you like. If you think it helps, you carve it on diamond when you can afford. Later you might not be able not be able to do that.